What's going on, brothers? It's Lime here on the name. Got another video for you. It's written title. Proving our point. Here goes. So, for you brothers who saw that video, more than likely, the ex of that father set that whole thing up. You see, more than likely they were in the middle of a custody battle. The father wanted to see his son at 315. But the stepdad was there with a gun, waiting for him to show up. And I gotta say it like this. If you need even more proof that men are not allowed to be fathers here in Western civilization, that right there is your proof. Stuff like that happens all the fucking time, especially in the black community. Where the mother runs the father off, has him paying child support, and then he has to fight tooth and nail to at least try to see his children, but she's turning around and slandering him, saying that he's a deadbeat, he's this, he's that. You know, he beats his kids and all this other stupid shit. That proves our point. Because of incidents like this, our point is proven over and over again. That's why this MGTOW philosophy is on autopilot. Now, the serial paint sniffers, the bitch made simps, the DNA dumpsters and walking trash cans can get mad all they want that this philosophy is growing on its own, but there's no stopping it. I mean, we live in a civilization that encourages this type of behavior where trollops can actually set men up to be robbed or even murdered and possibly even maimed or even have their kids hamstrung. It's disgusting. And for those who have a problem with this philosophy and those who say that what we're doing is in vain, that it's not working, no. What we're doing is working. In fact, this philosophy has been going, been going strong for almost a decade. So strong that there are trollops having meltdowns on TikTok because men and young men don't approach them anymore. I mean, it's gotten so bad that even the trollops who knowingly give young women and certain women perverse incentives to destroy their relationships or you know you can do better than that your Prince Charming is out there waiting for you even they're having problems I mean a lot of them have taken refuge in denial a lot of them they don't live in reality they live in their own psycho fucked Disney rom-com fantasy and the fact that young men and Men in general are not taking a beat. Proves our point. This philosophy is on autopilot, and men are just are learning, adjusting, and adapting. They're not getting fucked over anymore. And I'm all for that. That needs to be the norm. In fact, it needs to continue. I would go so far as to say it like this. For you brothers with our seers to hear and for the naysayers let me explain something to you you know what the crazy thing about this philosophy is it's passive you hear me it's all passive we're not telling anybody to hurt anyone all we're doing is telling young men to take their wallet and walk from the table if you don't want to play a weird game, you don't have to. Or as Brother Prince Rogers Nelson said it, if the playing field is not equal and you know that it's not equal, you gotta step away. And that's what a sizable portion of men and young men have done. So this proves our point. And our points will continue to be proven over and over again. And this right here is 
proof positive of that. I mean, even the stories before this, like, for instance, you brothers remember um, a few years ago, there was a story of a deadbeat mother who actually worked up the nerve to sue her own children for child support. Now, the judge threw that shit at, um, just threw that shit out, and it's a good thing the judge did that because if she had sued her own children for child support and she had won, then you better believe every single destitute, a broke ass, or deadbeat single mother here in the Western Hemisphere would have done that. But they haven't. You see, the rot is in the wood. The damage that this gynocentrism has done is irreversible and enough men don't want to play along anymore. They, they take a while and, and go on. And our point has been proven time and time again and it's going to continue to be proven. That's why for the most part, I can actually retire from this philosophy comfortably. I mean... One of these days, I might actually join Barbarossa. Our point is proven over and over again. But understand this, brothers. Understand this. Nothing beats peace of mind. Nothing. You hear? Understand that. Mm hmm. This is Lionel McTale. So I got brothers. If you like the video, like share in the commentary. If you just subscribe, if you're doing this my channel, you can tip jar on the upper right hand side of the screen. This is your plus icon. All right, fam. All right, brother. You know what's real. You're know what you're going to live with. As for these trollops and those that probably see how we see it, these serial paint sniffers and these walking trash cans who hate this philosophy, give them nothing. This is me, Tal PSA. Welcome to tight. See you soon.